Um, yeah. let, let's touch, uh, first of all, on this rate cut that, that we've seen in China. I mean, was that expected or is it a surprising uh, potential sign of weakness in their economy? Uh, no, it was expected because it was clear that the Chinese economy was not doing well. And, of course, with the downturn of the market, you know, China has underperformed almost every other emerging market around the world. And uh, there's no question that the, the Chinese government was concerned and therefore wanted to do something about interest rates. It's interesting that China is moving in the opposite direction of the U.S. So you have U.S. rates going up and Chinese rates going down. Yes. Yeah, so what does that mean? Is it a game changer, that rate cut for, for equities in China? Or do you think we're just seeing a, a brief bounce from likes, the likes of the Chinese uh, Internet stocks that we just mentioned following poor performance last year? No, I think it will be a game changer in the sense that the Chinese economy will do better. Of course, not as good as it has in past years because it's a much larger economy, more difficult uh, to move this huge BMO uh, up in terms of economic growth. But nevertheless, the lower interest rates will help the property market and will help many other sectors in China. The interesting thing is that now this so-called crackdown, a regulatory crackdown that the Chinese government implemented, uh, is having a good effect in the sense that people are now having more confidence in some of the big names uh, insofar as they're not going to be monopolistic. And again, very interesting how the U.S., uh, is moving in that same direction, going after these big Internet companies, big tech companies, uh, and trying to prevent them from just uh, monopolizing the entire field. What I don't get, Mark, is how, how you can invest in China right now without understanding what they're going to do with their COVID policies. They've got this strict zero COVID lockdown policy, which is hurting their economy. And I get that they're cutting rates now and starting to stimulate, but, but what... Ultimately, are they going to do? Are they just going to open up and let Omicron rip or, or try to squash every single case for, I don't know, how long can that possibly take? How do you invest in a scenario like that? Oh, well, first of all, in a country like China, there's no way they can have a complete uh, lockdown. It's just, it's just not going to happen. Uh, if you follow it carefully, you'll see that uh, in province by province, there are different policies. Uh, some provinces are open, some are closed, et cetera, et cetera. And the fact remains that if you look at the export figures for China, uh, they've been going up, they've been doing very well in exports, which means factories have been operating. So I don't th think that you're going to see a harsh uh, kind of lockdown that you've seen in the past. And more importantly, you notice that Europe is moving into a more open kind of policy regarding uh, COVID. Uh, you've seen that Spain said, look, don't call it a pandemic, call it an endemic. Uh, and I think China is going to follow in the same direction. Uh, we're pretty much over on this uh, entire situation.